Hey guys, I'm gonna take a couple of these little pumpkins and give them to the pigs. I wanted to let you know, so I sold a couple, a uh, few piglets to John and Heather from Our Hodge Podge Homestead. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below to their channel, but you can look them up, Our Hodge Podge Homestead. Um, they live a little over an hour from here. So they bought three of our piglets and uh, he's been raising them. And I asked him if he'd be interested in doing a, um, like a video, like once a week, regarding how the pigs are doing, how the piglets are doing. So he's gonna do that. He's actually already sent me two. I just haven't had a chance to, um, to upload them. So they're gonna be on this video. And then we'll do it once a week. And I don't know if I'm gonna have it be a standalone video or like include it in some other stuff that I'm doing. But I'm really curious because these guys, you know, are, they have their food rationed because I don't want the breeders getting too fat. So I'm going to be really interested to see how fast his get to butcher weight because he's got them on pretty much um, full feed all the time. So it'll be a lot different than it is here. They're already, I mean, it's going to be fun because I can already tell they're getting a lot bigger really fast. So Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, let me know if you've got any questions and uh, on to the video clips. Okay, so these are the pigs I got from Homestead Dad. Um, I've had them a week and what, two, three days now. Um, Monday was a week, today's Thursday. No, today's only Wednesday, so uh, a week and two days. Um, so far, I've not gone through. I bought a 50 pound bag of like a uh, a grained pig feed and a 50 pound bag of crushed corn and I've been feeding them a bunch of peaches or uh, pears off our pear tree a bunch of apples I had gotten um, that were just weren't any good for us anymore um, plus uh, pumpkins from our pumpkin carving on Sunday night with the family and uh, they're really going to town on the guts of the pumpkins and the seeds but they're they're kind of being a little picky on the uh, on the actual pumpkin it's, uh, itself but I mean I've gotten them to the point now where they're pretty friendly first day first day this one right here was was really friendly little girl and this one was a little touchy but now I can pretty much pet him the boy he's still just a little little iffy but they sure do like their bellies rubbed I can get them to lay right down in their feet <laughs> it almost puts them out but um, they've got a real nice pasture here, real nice pig yard. Made this out of pallets. It's uh, 48 feet long. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 42 feet wide. And it comes back up this way, and this is their house. I'm probably not going to get a full-fledged roof on it uh, this winter, but. There's two tarps on that. One of them's a real thick, heavy-duty tarp, and um, I've started walling the sides. And remember, this is all out of scrap. Um, I'm gonna have to buy some to to finish it, but I've still got scrap laying around. And until I don't have any more scrap, I'm not gonna buy any lumber. So, but they've got a real nice house, and they're already starting to to get the the pallets packed. So this is just gonna be insulation for them right here. And uh, the inside's real nice for them. Um, they get right in there and get all curled up. I've actually got wood. I put a, a floor in it. Um, I just didn't want them mucking up and being in mud and when it does rain, if rain goes in there. I've had pigs before and I just didn't care for that. But anyway, um, they're doing real good. Um, I think Jeff took real good care of his pigs. And uh, when I picked them up, they were pretty friendly. And you know, have they grown? I don't. I think they've grown already in a week. Um, I don't know. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm going to let them breed and have babies to sell myself, raise a couple of them, or just you know get babies when I want to have pigs. And I don't know yet. But we'll figure it out as the time comes. But uh, so far, I'm real happy with them. All right. So we're going out to feed the pigs. This is uh, week two. Um, they're pretty boisterous when it comes time to getting fed. 
Now they know it's feeding time. So uh, they're doing really good. They've gotten pretty much used to me being the one come, coming out here. I'm able to pet all of them now. They do like to get out. They got out on me the other day when I was doing this simple little chore of feeding them. But I'm feeding them a mixture of grains from the granary and table scraps. And uh, they're liking it. Doing really good. Got a banana peel. Got a pear tree. And I'm not a big pear fan, so a lot of them just go to waste. Um, but they love the pears. They, they're not too keen on, as you can tell, the pumpkin over there. And that pumpkin right there. Jeff from Homestead Dad told me his pigs tear them up. But these guys are eating pretty good so far. They get fed pretty good every day, so maybe they're just not hungry enough. Maybe towards, maybe another week they'll be hungry. I'll just make them hungry and they'll eat all the pumpkin scrap I have. But as you can see, they let, oh, let me pet them pretty good. They don't even jump anymore. But I sure do like them. I like having pigs on the homestead. But uh, again, they're, their pen's holding up pretty good so far. They haven't really rooted anywhere right near the edge. Uh, this past weekend, we went and bought wire to hot wire it. So just to keep them, keep them away from the edge. So anyway, that's pig update from our hodgepodge homestead today. Again, I'm John, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. I like these little pigs. You should like these pigs too. See you later.